Hi, this is Cat White, and this video will show users of Premiere Pro CS5 how to zoom in on a photo, pan across the photo, and finally zoom out at the end. A fairly typical thing to do with still images. As you can see, I have an image of three silly tourists and the Sphinx doing OHIO in Egypt in 2008. And so what I would like to do is zoom in and across the row of people and the Sphinx, finally zooming in on the Sphinx and then zooming out to a panorama shot at the end. This is going to require setting five different sets of keyframes. A keyframe is when you tell the video that you will change on this particular frame and do something different. And so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to select the Ohio Sphinx picture and that brings it up in the source meter. I'm going to click on Effect Controls and this brings me to the Video Effects pane. And what I need to do is use motion controls in order to pan and zoom. So I'm going to click on the triangle to expand motion. And then I need to change position and scale a number of times in order to accomplish this. What I'm going to do um, first is decide how long I would like the panorama shot to be on the screen before I start changing things. And so this picture is on the screen for 10 seconds. And so I'm going to go from about the end of the transition for about two seconds in order to start the first change. And so I'm going to go about two seconds out here to about that point. And at this point, I'm going to set my first two keyframes by clicking on uh, toggle next to position and also toggle next to scale. And as you can see, this sets two diamond-shaped keyframes on the timeline. Now, that says start changing at this point. Now I have to register what it's going to change into. So I'm going to move the blue handle about another two seconds, like this. And then I'm going to set two more keyframes by clicking the diamonds. And as you can see, I now have two more keyframes. At this point, what I would like the picture to do from the first keyframe to the second is I would like to zoom in. So I'm going to go over here to Scale, and I'm going to click on Scale and drag to the right, and that's going to cause me to zoom in on the image. Now if you notice as I zoom, the people disappear and I really don't have anything that I particularly want. So the next thing that I need to do is actually click on the image. And when I do, this bullseye appears. Now, I don't want to move the bullseye. I want to move things to the bullseye. So the first thing I'm going to do is click on the picture. And this little dash line appears, which shows that the picture is moving. And what I want to do is get the person on the left-hand side of the picture as close to that bullseye as possible without revealing this strip of the edge of the picture. And so I'm going to click, move that picture over, and pull down. And I want to get the top of the hands in like that. OK, so that's pretty good. Now, that is going to zoom in on the person on the left side of the picture. Now what I want to do is set two more keyframes to zoom across the picture, and so I'm going to go about another two seconds, like that. And I'm going to set two more keyframes, keyframe, keyframe. And now I'm going to pull the picture over. to where the picture should be right there. And again, I want to get the person on the right side as close as possible to the center. Once I do that, I want to set two more keyframes. So I'm going to move the blue handle about another two seconds. About there. Keyframe, keyframe. And then I'm going to do my last pan and zoom because what I would like to do is go back to the Sphinx 
zoom in just a bit more on the Sphinx, keeping the Sphinx's face in the center of the screen. Okay, and the very last thing I'm going to do is move the keyframe, move the handle once more. I'm going to move the blue handle once more on the timeline, set two more keyframes. And now I want to zoom out to a panoramic shot to end the scene. And so in order to zoom out, the easiest thing to do is click on Scale and return that to 100% and click the Enter key. Now the picture is just about completely off the screen. So I'm going to first move the picture manually. And that's just about right. And then I'm going to return these numbers to their original numbers, 360 and 240. And click Enter. And there the picture is at the end. Last thing remaining is to preview what I've just done. So I'm going to return to the beginning. And I'm going to click Play in order to preview. So here we go. We zoom in. We zoom across the people. And then we zoom in on the Sphinx. And we zoom out. Now, you noticed, of course, that this was extremely rushed. And you really don't want that. So what you need to do is you need to have the picture on the screen as long as possible. And then you can go back after you've lengthened the picture, as I'm doing now. And you can move these keyframes and slow down your zooming because you really don't want this process to be rushed. So I moved the last two keyframes, so watch quickly while I show you how you can slow this down simply by moving a couple of keyframes and then you can retime the entire sequence. And that's all there is to zooming and panning in Premiere Pro CS5.